So just got done tearing down a uh, an x-ray machine from a dentist office. Like the one where you put your mouth in, you bite down, and then the thing goes around your head. I believe it's some kind of x-ray machine. Man, a lot of good aluminum. Solid stock aluminum. Of course, some steel. There was lead in it, which I was surprised. I mean, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised because you gotta counterweight the balance with something and lead is the most dense. But uh, I'll be turning some of that in next week. I think I'm gonna skip the scrapyard tomorrow. Uh, this week's been a pretty good one. Monday I made $540. Tuesday I made 317. Didn't go to the scrapyard Wednesday. And today I went and got $150. So in total, in three days, I made $1,010. So, anybody out there saying, oh, I can't make money off of scrapping, trust me. If you've got the will, there's a way. A legitimate way. I go to different companies. Don't be afraid to ask. I went to go pick up lights from a job because I asked, you know, the person a long time ago, hey, what do you do with your lights? Oh, we just throw them out. Well, do you mind giving me a call if uh, you don't want to buy a dumpster and have me haul it off? So, you know, it all starts somewhere. But, uh, you know, I picked those lights up, drove around for a little bit down the street from a Maserati Bentley in Aston Martin dealership was a, a nice dentist office. And what do I see sitting out back? Big piece of machinery. So I went to investigate, went inside and asked them, Hey, do you, uh, are y'all going to get rid of this machine out back? And they said, well, the contractor should have picked it up, but I guess he didn't. So they let me have it. So, you know, you can do this legitimately. You know, you don't have to go out there and steal stuff. That's just crazy, you know. Live to see another day. Find a way. You ask people or pull it out of a damn dumpster, you know. But uh, $1,000 in three days. That's my best week so far. Probably not going to go to the scrapyard tomorrow. I've got a lot of stuff to break down. I'm going to be meeting up with another one of my contractors tomorrow to pick up some AC units from him. So I'll probably be pretty busy. Too busy to go to the scrapyard. I'm just going to save up, break down the stuff that I've got, and go on Monday. But I, uh, I bring you all here because uh, i got something that you don't see too often. chandelier. Yeah, you might say, well, I see chandeliers all the time. They're garbage. Well, not this one. You see, this one is solid brass. No idea how much this would have cost. Anybody who has any idea how much chandeliers cost, let me know how much a solid brass one cost. Um, but yeah, let me... Just to, you know, for the ones who don't believe, let me prove it's solid brass. See that? Yellow. Boom. Other side. And I hate that I'm taking it apart because <laughs> it's probably worth a fortune. But it was already messed up pretty bad. Broken. Probably why they threw it out. Hard to believe somebody can throw something so expensive out. But I don't know if you can see where I scratched it. Somewhere right there. 
But yeah, brass. I'd say it's 95 to 98% brass, but you know, there's these little attachments here that are steel. They just unscrew very easily. But we'll get those out. Yeah, I, I got a feeling this thing is a couple thousand dollars minimum. And it had all of these jewels. It was very gaudy, whimsical. <laughs> uh, and I've asked one of my buddies if he knows if these would have been some kind of, you know, gemstone or I don't know. He said they might be uh, quartz crystal, which can be expensive. I don't know. Anybody know? Am I throwing away diamonds here? <laughs> because I threw a bunch of them away before I was like, wait a second. Even the little clasp to hold it on is brass. I mean, come on, right? It's got to be expensive. See that? Every little attachment, and it had five or six of these hanging off with each one attached with a little brass hook. So, yeah, somebody, uh, somebody spent a lot of money on this. I can't find a name brand anywhere. The only thing I can see is it says it's made in Spain. <laughs> Not too many things are made in Spain that I've ever come across. Um... Definitely not made in China, so. Yeah, anything that says made in Spain or made in Italy, yeah, I'd say it's a high dollar item. Grass. Even the little nuts inside of the electrical stuff are all brass too. They didn't spare any any expense on this. But you know, I'm gonna get the you know the bare minimum for it. That's what scrapping is, you know. You ain't gonna get a fortune for the stuff unless you got a, a large amount of it, you know. But uh, pretty cool find, if you ask me. You know, it's beautiful. I mean, look at it. Look at the detail work on that. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of the bell I found. I think I showed that in one of my first videos. Check out this bell. This is solid brass, too. I love that noise. Well, yeah, look at the detail work on this, man. Like an angel. Looks like a family crest with dragons. Crazy. Just crazy, the detail on that. Look at that. I don't want to scrap this. I mean, I'm going to scrap the chandelier because it's messed up, but this bell works perfect. And it's one of a kind, you know? Let me know in the comments if, if y'all have got a collection of stuff that you've thought about scrapping but you end up saving. That's one of them. Right there. Whenever I get my own house, I'll probably hang that up. Dinner's ready. Kids will probably, or my wife will probably get annoyed by it, but the kids might love it. Dinner's ready. Soup's on. Some more jewels. Jewels. And I know they're not diamonds. Imagine if they were. Imagine if they were. This thing is uh, kind of 
this bolt. kind of trickery going on here. Seems pretty old too, this wire is just, I don't know. It all seems like really old. Even all these chains, links, are brass. Pretty freaking cool, man. Pretty cool. It's a shame it's gonna be sent to the scrapyard. seized up in there so I'm going to have to use a vise to get that one off. Let's see. Pretty sure you're brass but for YouTube let's just scratch it and check. <laughs> yep. Of course this. More brass. It's like a cast brass. Pretty cool. Let me know if that's a thing or if it's bronze. I would, yeah. Never even heard of cast brass, but I guess it, you can cast anything, right? I mean, whatever. Wow, that's a heavy piece right there. <laughs> it doesn't look heavy, but it is. That weighs about a pound. got multiples of these stacked up. Why? I mean, gosh. Even the, uh, the little screws are brass, I believe. Let's zip, zip those out of here. Let's see. Oh, great. It's going to be a pain in the ass, small flathead. Wonderful. Now we go on the hunt for a flathead that's small enough. If a flathead's not small enough, sharpen it. I use the floor. Make sure you wear gloves when using the sharpened ones because, uh, yeah, just wear gloves. Wear gloves. Don't be a dummy. Jeez. I can't even. There we go. It's such a small slot. Yep. Good old brass. Brass, brass, brass. I like brass. You know why? Because people don't know the value of it and they just throw it away like, like it's nothing. I find it everywhere, man, everywhere. And then, you know, it's the second highest ticket item on the, on the books. Copper, brass, and aluminum. Come on. There we go. Yeah, pretty cool. Screws are even brass. Of course, these little pieces, I'm not going to scratch it. We know it's brass. We know 
Alan and Alex Brass. So how's everybody's week going? You making money? Setting any goals? Flying by the seat of your pants. What y'all up to? Get this wire out. Dun, 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 dun. Did some magic trickery to get the damn wire in there. I'm gonna have to break it or something. Yeah. Don't want to budge. Not at all. So we'll just snip the wires out of it. Worry about it later.
because it was broken. Oh, low battery. My ass. Not gonna happen. At me, you're throwing steel in the brass. I know, I know, I know. I don't know what I just dropped, but I heard it. Did I drop some brass? Yep, I did. Time to go to the vice for the last.